हे हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम निशा सिंगला एंड दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑन एंगुलर लाइफ साइकिल हुक्स इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल हुक्स एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लास्ट हुक एंड दैट इज इन जी ऑन डिस्ट्रॉय सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर न्यूज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट एन जी ऑन डिस्ट्रॉय इट मीन्स वेन समथिंग इज गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय एट दैट टाइम इट सपोज टू कॉल राइट एंगुलर कॉल्स दिस हुक just before destroying your component or directive so that we can free the resources or we can write some clean up logic for our component resources i mean here if like uh, if you want to unsubscribe from the observable or any dom event or maybe you want to clear the intervals that we have set using set timeout or maybe web socket connection so to free these resources we can utilize this ng on destroy and this is very important because if we are not handling these things then we can lead to memory leakage or we can do some kind of side effects so this life cycle hook is used for any custom cleanup that needs to occur when the instance is destroyed by doing so you can prevent memory leakage now we understood like what is ng on destroy let's understand it with one example so that it would be more clear move to your editor and open the child component file so now let's implement first of all this ng on destroy so to implement any hook we have interface right so we have here on destroy and it will give you one method that is ng on destroy sequence of life cycle hook doesn't matter i mean sequence here means you can write this method anywhere it always execute the way its sequence is decided right so ng on destroy will always call just before destroying the component so now let me first show you that this hook is executing or not so we can say here ng on destroy so as we can see that all life cycle hooks are executing because that we have discussed in the previous videos so we are on this hook step right there we have implemented ng on destroy so as soon as you will click on some another route we are destroying that component so just focus here on the console tab and i am clicking on home so here you can see at the end it is calling ng on destroy before that it never executed right or it executed all other life cycle hooks but ng on destroy executed once i move away from this component so it means ng on destroy is working as soon as the instance of this component is destroying so now let's implement one logic just to show you if you don't use ng on destroy how it can impact your code what i want to do i will simply create one count variable that would be of type number that will have initial value as 0 so now what i'll do i will create a simple counter which will, which will increment the value of count by 1 after a certain interval so for that we know that we have javascript function set interval that takes one callback function and the time so it is 1000 milliseconds and after every 1000 milliseconds i want to increment the value of count by 1 so i can say this dot count plus plus and i will simply display this value on console and here i will say this dot count it's a very simple javascript logic now let's move to the browser and can you see that so after every 1000 millisecond this timer is running so now just notice one behavior that when i will away from this hook tab the timer should not run right but when i click on home and you will notice ng on destroy is executed on that component but still my timer is running so now you can see in the back end your timer is still running which is utilizing the unnecessary resources so now here you can see i'm unnecessary using the resources here so in this case ideally when i am destroying my hook component this timer should also stop but this is not happening now when i move back to hook tab you can notice here my two timers are running so this is something which should not be done right so in this case we can make sure that unnecessary resources should not run in the back end because this can lead to the memory leakage or it can do some sort of side effect to my application so to avoid all these situations we should use ng on destroy now let's see how we can fix this issue now back to your editor and in this case whatever interval we have 
we can we can clear this interval right so for that i need to store the reference of this one in some variable so i'll be creating one more variable here giving it a name of interval and we can store this timer reference in one variable because i will be needing this reference to release its resource right now back to your ng on destroy and here what we can do we can call clear interval function and we need to tell here which interval you want to clear and that is this dot interval so this dot interval is my variable which is holding a reference of my set interval so before destroying this component just before destroying this component i am also releasing the resource of my timer function okay now let's check again so timer is running so as soon as i will move to some another component this timer should stop so no now when i click on home tab ng on destroy hook will run and this hook will also clear my resource that is my interval so let's check this one so you can see ng on destroy is done executed and along with this my timer is also stopped so now we can say in the back end unnecessary resources are not consuming or are not using right so now when i click again on hooks tab my timer will again run from starting so this is the appropriate behavior and the same thing we do when we work with observable if we have subscribed to a observable then please make sure that you have unsubscribe it so that in the back end those resources are not using so now with this our hooks are completed so just to show you this execution in the beginning it will call constructor and if you have any data bound property it will execute ng on changes and just after ng on changes it will call ng on init right so in ng on init you can do any initialization logic that's supposed to be run only once and after that we have ng do check sometimes ng on change is not able to detect any changes so in that case if you have your custom change detection logic that you can do in the ng do check ng after content init and ng after content checked is related to content projection and ng after view init and ng after view checked it's related to the view child and view children and at the end when you will away from this component so before destroying this component we have ng on destroy where you can do some cleanup task so this is the way angular hooks work and it plays a very important role in angular application so you should be very confident and clear where to use which hook so that you can write your logic in a more clear way so this is all about angular hooks and different type of hooks how it works and if you find this video useful let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye